Welcome to Research Lifeline's 3-Minute Tutorial Series. This session is Part 2, an overview of rating scales in marketing research. In Part 1, we went over the definitions of four types of measurement scales, nominal or categorical, ordinal, interval, and ratio scales. In this session, we're going to give you examples of survey questions that use each of these rating scales. The question examples I'm going to be using are real life from a recent survey we did for a private school system. We'll start with questions that are examples of nominal or categorical scales. The first question we asked parents was which school their child attended. Clearly these are just categories, each school unique but no ranking difference between them. Another question we asked is, what is your relationship to the child? And the choices are, I'm the parent or grandparent or legal guardian, etc. Clearly these are unique categories, but there's no particular order. And recall that an ordinal scale has a rank ordering or an ordered continuum, but each of the intervals between the different objects are unequal. In the first question example here, we ask parents to rate the school in terms of effectiveness of communication. Would you say excellent, very good, good, fair, or poor? Each of these are in rank order, but the interval between them is unequal. In our second example of an ordinal scale, we ask parents how appealing is the idea of increasing tuition modestly in order to eliminate various one-time fees? Would you say extremely appealing, very appealing, and so on? Each response is unique, they're in rank order, but you can't say that the difference between them is equal. Interval scale data presents measures on an ordered continuum that is in rank order. They have an arbitrary zero, but intervals between items are equal. In our interval scale example, we ask parents how likely they are to recommend the school to a friend. Using a scale of zero to ten, where zero is not at all likely, and ten is extremely likely. All the rating points are unique, they're in rank order, they're equally spaced, and zero arbitrarily set to mean not at all likely. Our last type of measurement is a ratio scale. Recall that ratio scale uses rank ordering. The intervals are equal, but in this case there's a true zero, and examples might include things like length, or time, or money. So income might be a good example of a ratio scaled question. However, it's typically asked on an ordinal scale, as in this example. Notice that the scale choices are in rank order, but the intervals are not equal. Now to ask the income question on a true ratio scale measure, they would actually have to enter their income level. Not as a category choice, but as a real number. And that concludes the second part of our three minute tutorial on an overview of rating scales. Thank you for watching.